So question for the chat. Uh, what's like the worst restricted in the format? Like I get like, you know, Cosmog and stuff. Like you can say Cosmog, but that's kind of a cop out. I mean like unironically, not not like Curum, not not like base Curum, because we know that's not viable, but like full fully fledged Pokemon that is just not viable. What do you think? Alright, um looks like Honestly, like, not a bad game for Thunderous at all. I have to be really careful with that um, Raichu. But I can lead off Groudon Thunderous and actually kind of mess this guy up. Venusaur in the back. Doesn't look like an Absol game, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to bring P2 again. Because a Trick Room could come in handy. Yeah, good game, Bit. The double Will-O-Wisp is definitely what messed me up there. I was like, oh, there's no way he double Will-O-Wisps. And then you did. And I just, like, switched to a face cam, and I was like, I don't know what just happened. But, I mean, when you call it, you call it. So good game, dude. Giratina isn't a Pokemon. I, Dude, I've seen so many people be like, yeah, Marcus, you gotta use Giratina. It's such a good weakness policy user. And I'm like, you know we have, like, Calyrex, right? Like, you know we have objectively better weakness policy users? And you might as well just use Grisius Orb on Giratina and just take the extra speed. Or the extra power, you know? Because I believe it also gets a stat boost, like, offensively. Alright, um... Check this out. Check this out. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I wasn't thinking for a minute. Okay. Peep this one, bro. Like, really. Peep this one. No way he thinks I'm going to Dynamax my, my Thunderous, right? There's just no way he thinks I'm going to Dynamax my Thunderous. So he should fake out the Thunderous slot and let me Swords Dance. Working towards the 1660, what's the rig, or what you got in the rig right now? Honestly, let me check. Bruh, peep this one. No, really, peep this one. No more Evel Tall. <laughs> will the sub, dude, I will make it a $19 Fortnite card as a joke, yeah. I have not actually looked at my rig in a long time. Let me look at my device manager. Where is it? Uh, display adapters? I have a GTX 960. I've always been like really, really uh, frugal when it comes to my YouTube channel and my streaming stuff. Like I literally just do not spend enough money on it. <laughs> like there are people out there that are like, yeah, I have like this PC, spent a lot of money on it. Gonna make all, I'm gonna make it all back streaming. And I'm like, I'm in college, any money I make streaming is a blessing. I am not spending a dime. <laughs> Big Slim, how you doing? Dang, this Groudon can really not catch a break. How am I still getting crit? Okay. Uh, likelihood of Eveltal switching out for Raichu. Likelihood of Eveltal switching out for Raichu. Also, is that weakness policy Celesteela or Meteor Beam? Could be Leftovers, too. Does it have max Rockfall? These are questions I should be asking. But I will not, and I will just Fire Punch and take the damage I get. All right, cool, cool. Max Airstream is the right play. God, that does so much. Max 
max steel spike. Honestly, I can max knuckle this Raichu, and it upsets me knowing that I definitely would have lived that if I didn't get crit the first time. It doesn't mean I lose, but it definitely makes this matchup a little bit more difficult. Special attack boost, I suppose. Yep, there it is. Uh, are they... Okay, they're leftovers. So I can go for a max knuckle on this Raichu. And I'll just get in the venue. We've also just confirmed that it's not... Um... Ooh, you know what I should really do? They are 100% about to go for a plus one max airstream into my Venusaur. I should really just go P2 here. Because they're, they're going to fake out. There's no way they don't fake out here. They should always fake out to prevent the sleep. A nice little download boost there. Um, what? Are you telling me I could have put this thing to sleep? Are you are you telling me right now that I could have put that thing to sleep? Right then. Right there. That made no sense. That had to be a misclick, yeah. Yeah, that there's no way that wasn't a misclick. So luckily, Celesteela doesn't really threaten much right now. I think what I'm just going to do is go for a Wild Charge to KO that Eveltal. And, uh, Eerie Impulse the Celesteela. Because I think Eveltal comes in right now. I'm going to say that Eveltal is Assault Vest, judging by the way you played it. At least the Switch, you know. Or I guess he could have just been trying to get in the Raichu to prevent a Max uh, Lightning. Okay, no more Celesteela. <laughs> no more Celesteela. I can't do that. I can't get my voice that high. No more Celesteela. I can't. I literally can't. All right, let me go for a protect here. I don't care if they go for a fake out on my Porygon too. I don't care. Let me go over this Eerie Impulse to get this pressure off because plus one is a little bit too much pressure for my taste. If they go for a Flare Blitz, I've been nay good game. I'm just going to accept it. Because that's a plus one speed cell steal. It would outspeed my, uh, my Venusaur if the sun goes away, which I believe it does soon. Can you fake out the Thunderous? Can you just recognize the pressure the Thunderous is putting on? E oh. This man just doubled into P2. Okay. No more winning. Do I have one more turn of Sun? That'd be great. One more turn of Sun would be phenomenal. Or, if it could just not be safety goggles on the Incineroar, that'd be great. Either one of those works. Not one or the other, though. <laughs> or, what am I saying? Not... <laughs> um, I don't know what I meant to say there. That made no sense. I'm sorry, viewers. That made no sense. I think I have to put that thing to sleep regardless. I could superpower since I'm at plus two. And call like a protect. But they have not protected the Celesteela once, so I'm just going to risk it. Please do not be safety goggles and do not miss. Just be a figgy berry incineroar. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, you're right. I could have weatherballed. I'm stupid. I don't know. I don't trust Venusaur. I don't trust Venusaur's damage output with weatherball. I get it's really strong, but for all I know, that's like a max special defense Celesteela. But you got a point there. I definitely could have weatherballed. And just super powered. But with my luck, I'd probably face like Choppleberry and Cinerar. Okay, so they're not a Salt Vest. They're not a Salt Vest. 
Are you gonna wake up? I don't think this Incinerate KOs me, does it? Okay, we're good. As long as he doesn't get a double protect, I'm fine. Sucker Punch could suck, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, it did get a it did get a boot. Can you uh not wake up for just one more turn, sir? Just one more turn, just don't wake up. Or maybe let me crit you? Either one. Either one really, either one's fine. Okay, it is a it is berry, that's fine. Uh just just don't wake up, okay? Just just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Okay, we're good. Oh alright. Um I think Eveltal would have clicked Sucker Punch by now, by the way. If it had it. Okay. I had a heart attack right then. Two sludge bombs definitely KOs in Cinema. They shouldn't be able to eat while they sleep. Dude, that'd be so sleep would be so broken if you couldn't eat berries during. It would honestly be so broken. And Cinema woke up. It's gonna KO itself now. Is it? I think it does. Oh, okay. <laughs> Behold, Incineroar's greatest weakness, an unboosted Weather Ball. Have a nice night, Poketana. Dang, I really wanted to click Weather Ball. Alright, that was pretty cool. I feel, I feel like it's very appropriate that flying types love safety goggles, and oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, we are facing the Quan Machine. The Quan Machine is actually really scary for this team. But I do have an out. I do have an out versus the Quan Machine. It's not a good one, though. Yeah, I retweeted the Goggles Evaltal team. Well, here's the issue with that. Here's the issue with that idea that got that 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 the Eveltal, or not, <laughs> that the Absol close combat could KO after a max airstream, that used to be true. I will say that used to be true. Now it's iffy. Because <laughs> it used to be choice banded. Ah yes, what a beautiful, <laughs> what a beautiful April 12th, 2021. Today I will be facing this Weezing player, who shall now click protect on their Weezing turn one out of fear that I might KO it. Observe. Let me go full screen. On the bright side, uh, this is a Focus Sash Absol now, so if they decide to target into the Absol for some reason, not gonna work out for them. Watch it Will-O-Wisp again. I'd rather have it, like, the ideal outcome here, to be honest, would be Max Strike into the Absol, Will-O-Wisp into the Thunderous, because then I just win. That's just a win right there. Who's the next Pokemon on your make viable list? I would say Surfetched, but it's already kind of viable. People have known it's a threat. It's just like slept on. Behold. The Protect. The wheezing player out in the wild clicking Protect. Beautiful. Can you max strike my Absol? That'd be really baller. Okay. Max Hailstorm. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a knockoff. 
That's a knockoff that I can click. I will literally take it. Because now my Absol is a speed boost. I I'll take it. That's fine. That is literally like I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Let me get in the Venusaur here. I can actually just close combat again and go for a Sleep Powder. Fun fact, all Thunderous players max the first turn. Facts. Facts right there. I don't see any. I don't see anything that is not a fact on, on my screen. I'm just gonna close combat again. We got the speed boost. All right, since my last prediction was right, I have to say this. Ah, uh, yes, what a beautiful uh, April 12th, 2021, as I click this sleep powder and connect it on the wheezing. If you believe it, it happens. That's how Pokemon works, trust me. That is always how Pokemon works. If you just believe in yourself and a little bit of magic, all your wildest dreams will come true. And it just so happens my wildest dream is having Absol KO or Regigigas. Is that within knockoff range? It's probably not. Knowing Absol and how disappointing of a Pokemon it is, I'm going to say that's not within knockoff range. I'm going to go ahead and get in the grout on here and go for a Swords Dance. I am so tempted to click knockoff. Guys, I can't I can't stop my I'm going to I'm going to close combat. <laughs> I am so tempted to click knockoff. Nice. Critical hit? No? Okay. Super Lux, you know, lame. Don't wake up. Okay, thank you. For my next trick, I shall go for a uh, taunt onto this, onto, onto this, uh, on, on, onto this, um, Steven Universe. Wheezing. That's what it's called. <laughs> All right. There's the Grim Snarl. I'll take it. Uh, these things never run fake out unless you're my first opponent. Then they run fake out. So the reason I'm taunting is because it feels like they should always Will-O-Wisp. Or Protect, that's fine. That's fine, that's cool, that's fine. That's cool, that's that's all right, that's fine. So they didn't scary face, which leads me to the conclusion that they most definitely just spirit broke my Absol, saying, I'm tired of this stupid goat, go away. That's fine, he did his job. I'm at plus two, there's no way this doesn't KO now. I guess my only fear is this being Scary Face Grimmsnarl. Because that is 100%. Like, even if they're Shookaberry, that's 100% in range. Yeah, Absol's a goat. Check it. Sleep Powder. Ah, yes. What a beautiful April 12th, 2021. <laughs> I'm just going to say that every time I click Sleep Powder, regardless of the date. Yeah, there it is. He's not living, though. I knew it was the goat, but I didn't know it was a goat. Thank you, Mr. Sparkles, for the, for the, I almost said subscription, for the follow. If you sub, that'd be cool, but for the follow, thank you. I'm gonna say it. Ah, yes, what a beautiful, um, oh, forgot, that's an Eveltal. Is it safety goggles, though? Is it safety goggles, though? And will it foul play my Groudon? Find out immediately on Dragon Ball Z. Actually, I think this is technically my play. This is technically my play because I am running a Koba Berry. I can definitely take an Oblivion Wing. Hey, what'd I tell you? I told you that was the play. I told you. You didn't believe me, but I told you. 
Now, all I need is for this Eveltal to not dodge another one. Because if it is carrying fire, or because if it is carrying foul play, I'm in trouble. I could just Weather Ball into Fire Punch and hope that's enough. In fact, I might just do that. I am tired of Venusaur clicking Sleep Powder. I am tired of missing. Be gone, Eveltal. You're not taking these two. Be gone. It is a Sphinx. Yeah, it's also a Sphinx. Oh, you're not taking this. Nice Heat Wave, loser. Don't burn me, 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 don't burn me. Okay, nice heat wave, loser. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I honestly did not expect them to be packing heat wave. Remember, when you miss your attacks, you got outplayed. Exactly. That's why I went for a Weather Ball. <laughs> That's why I went for the Weather Ball instead. I was like, I'm not about to lose to this. Because if he actually... if the, the fact that he clicked Heat Wave meant that if I actually missed that turn, I lost. That's just, that's just how it is sometimes. If I missed, I lost there. Okay, so just some standard Calyrex Ice Rider plus friends, you know. Um, I'm going to bring Absol to this game out of necessity of not feeling like Absol's useless. I'm going to do that. Good to see you streaming again. Hey, what's up, Meech? How you doing? Guys, so I was working on arms today, right? And I realized something that I really should have realized a while ago. So, when when you're doing curls, you should always, like, outstretch your arms all the way, right? Or at least nearly all the way. And I, I struggle to do that because I just get lazy with my reps. Uh, at my dorm, when I lived in the dorms at my college, uh, there was a gym at the on the ground floor that had, like, a curling station. So, it was almost like you had an arm blaster but it was like seated. It was like a seated curl, right? So it was like impossible to cheat. And I was considering buying an arm blaster for that purpose, just so I don't, you know, do cheat curls. And then today it hit me. I have a couch. All I have to do is get up behind the couch and curl. And, and it's all good. It's literally like the same thing. So I was really happy about that. Okay, um, why do I have the feeling that Absol should not be on the field right now? Why why do I get this strange feeling that Absol should just get out of dodge? Could I take an early KO? Not likely. I could do this. I could do this, and this might work out. Let me get in Groudon. And I'm going to go ahead and Eerie Impulse. Absol has a catastrophe approaching him, yeah. There's the Reflect, that's fine. I'm going to SD anyways. There's the Moonblast. That's fine, just don't do too much. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's fine damage, that's fine. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. We're cool, we're fine, we're good, we're cool, we're fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Swords Dance again. And what I'm gonna do is just idiotic. One would say this is idiotic. I'm gonna try to Swords Dance twice. <laughs> Maybe even three times, who knows? But what I wanna do is take advantage of this passive lead or the lead that I just made passive by Eerie Impulsing, and set up a Groudon. And if they try to Trick Room on me, I will not stand for it. In fact, I will Trick Room on their Trick Room. I'm going to play real aggressive. 
<laughs> it's cool, he says while panicking. If you haven't been to a stream before, you'll find that's very common. That's my playstyle. My playstyle is saying it's cool, it's cool while I lose. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. Bruh, peep this one. No, really. Peep this one. No more fake tears. <laughs> no more fake tears. I can't say it. I can't say it like that. There's the scald. No more burns. And now I am in just such a commanding position in terms of like how much damage they're doing that I'm just going to Swords Dance again. I told you, I'm going to do it again. It might seem idiotic, but I'm going to Eerie Impulse the Tapu Fini again. <laughs> Go ahead, fake tears me again. I don't care. Point to your special attacker not named Tapu Fini. Point to a single special attacker not named Tapu Fini. Okay, now my win condition is very simple. It is, um, do not miss Precipice Blades. Because I'm at, like, what, plus four? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at plus four. I'm going to try attack this Tapu Finny. And we're just going to go for the best. Minus six Finny. It's okay, guys. Now it's just clicking Scald in the sun at essentially minus four. That did so much. I am very proud of what I just did here. No more Tapu Fini. Okay, I'm really happy with that outcome. I'm playing a dangerous game. That's how I play. <laughs> Marcos, why don't you get consistent results? <laughs> the gameplay in question. Why don't you win enough? Why don't you win as much as you should, Marcos? And I just point to this right here. No more Calyrex. I'm going to double into it just in case. Three Scalds, no burns. But I mean, the Misty Terrain's up. They couldn't burn me anyways. And I'm like nearly max special defense Groudon. This Groudon is literally like, it has a little bit of speed. I... In fact, I can say the I can say the spread off the top of my head. It's max HP, 28 attack, adamant nature, 28 defense, 188 special defense, and 12 speed. I'm like 90% sure that's it. Let me check the team builder. This is a very specially defensive Groudon. Yeah, I got it right. That's it. That's the exact spread. You know what's great about this is he can't go for Trick Room. He literally can't go for Trick Room. And on this next turn, I can, like, even if he survives this, which he probably will. He probably will. I'll, I'll give it to it. It's a Calyrex. I just get an Absol. I literally just get an Absol, and he can't do anything about it. And I'm Focus Sash. And he's ugly. <laughs> just going to throw that up there. How much is this doing? Oh, oh no, sir. No, sir. No. Are you going to KO my Groudon? Because if you are, that's fine. Nick, how you doing? I'm, I'm having a good night. It's been a fun stream so far. Good amount of viewers too. By the way, guys, if you're, if you're not consistently here, you should be because I'm not even consistently here, but I'm going to try. I stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5 to 7. Today it was 5.30 to 7. That's what I mean because I'm not consistent. Oh no, oh no, he got a chilling nay. Whatever shall I do? Goodbye. <laughs> no more Calyrex. No more Grimmsnarl. <laughs> uh, five to seven uh, CST, I'm, in, I'm Central Standard Time. All right, sending in the Absol. Time for him to do something. Time for him to strut. Thank you, I didn't feel like taking hail damage. <laughs> the, 
the reason they're about to lose is because they were unable to peep this one. I'm gonna crit the knockoff just as a flex. I'm super lucky. I'm gonna call it right now. It's gonna crit. Okay, well that was sad. No more damage. I just came here because I battled you TBH. I like watching your YouTube videos and streams. It's really fun. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna live. I'm, well, I mean, like, I'm gonna live without the sash. Without need of the sash. Bruh. Keep this one. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Fun fact. Close combat from Absol does more than uh, Sucker Punch, which is sad. It's sad to think about. I can see Marush just giggling his life away on a stage at a big tournament. That's with the... No more Torkoal. I didn't realize that crit. Um, that's with the assumption I managed to get on stage. There have been a few close calls where I like managed to get to the top tables. Because usually at tournaments, you only really get on stage if either round one, um, everyone knows you, right? Or if like you're at the top tables. Because then they'll put you on stream. 